Well, good morning this Wednesday morning. Uh, welcome from week off to Kings at Home Daily. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the week, I'm just taking these uh, three mornings to speak a bit about our devotions, how to strengthen our daily devotions, how important they are before we start our Advent series tomorrow. I'll get my little my Advent light uh, out and we'll be yeah, just thinking ahead towards um, Advent. The Advent. Advent means coming. Um, more of that tomorrow. Let's pray and see what the Lord has for us this morning. Lord Jesus, we oh, what a joy to belong to you. What a joy to be called yours. Lord, we want to live in the good of that. We want to walk well. We want to, we want to be faithful disciples. Teach us, I pray. Help us this morning as we take time to look at your word, hear your voice to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. OK, well, on, uh, this morning I'm going to take you into uh, 2 Corinthians and chapter chapters 3, 4, 5, round about there. Um, again, to speak about our devotion to to the Lord. The high calling as a Christian, you, you and I as, as Christ ones, as disciples, as a, a, what a, it's a privilege. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, joy and a privilege. We've been called by, by the Lord to walk with him. And uh, as I've been, as mentioned in the last couple of days, it's so important we have that sense of, of, uh, of the Lord's pleasure in our company. <laughs> we, we would often disqualify ourselves thinking, oh, I'm rubbish, I'm no good, which is just the enemy's ploy to keep us away from the Lord. But uh, he's seeking after us, knocking on, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He, 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 he wants to fellowship with us on a daily basis. And it's all through the cross, not your performance or mine. And so we've got a wonderful calling as Christians. And let's start with 2 Corinthians. I'm in chapter 3, verse 18. If, if you've got it or close by, I'll read it to you. Um, I, I can't read Yeah, OK. We all with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory. We've been transformed into his image with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is spirit. In other words, the, the more time we spend in the presence of the Lord, we're, we're going to be changed. It changes us to spend time with the Lord. And uh, uh, just the unveiled faces, we can come close. We don't, you know, the, they had to cover the, the, the Old Testament. They couldn't come too close. We can come close. You've got access. You've got costly access, the blood of the Lord Jesus. Don't, make sure you use that access on a daily basis, not just to your morning devotions, but through the day. More on that later, if I've got time. So uh, this wonderful privilege, unveiled faces, free access into the presence of the Lord. It's your birthright as a follower of Jesus. And so it goes on in chapter four. Therefore, since we have this ministry, we don't lose hearts. We're not going to be discouraged. We've got this wonderful, wonderful relationship with the Lord of, of all creation. And oh, my favorite, one of my favorite verses you've heard me. It's an easy one to remember the reference 2 4 6, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 6. Uh, For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of, the glo of God's glory displayed in the face of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? The law of creation, let there be light. He's made his light shine into our hearts. He's given us the Holy Spirit the, 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 who glorifies Jesus. He's in us as Christians, displayed in the face of Jesus Christ. But, verse 7, we have this treasure in jars of clay, so the all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. And we all know with jars of clay, that's why on a daily basis but to be, to be renewed in the presence of the Lord to allow our inner life to grow you've got you have got an inner life the question is how how um, pressed down and subdued it is the Holy Spirit in you or how much it the, the, the Holy Spirit is allowed to flourish in you every Christian has an inner life the question is what's there are you allowing the Holy Spirit to flourish into your life um, okay um, time's zooming away, so I need to, to move on. Um, by the way, I, I will say this. On the, this passage about 
uh, Jars of Clay and so on. There's a, a lovely little book that I've really enjoyed uh, uh, recently, and it's um, by J.R. Packer, one of my heroes, and it's called Weakness is the Way. <laughs> um, now, as long as it's a weakness that keeps us close to Jesus and not a weakness that says, I'm unworthy, I'm useless, I can't come close. Depend, that's our dependency, so that the glory is his. And that's why on a daily basis, Lord, I need you, and I have you. I have this access to your presence. But this is what I want to, the verse I want to bring to you this morning. Verse 9 of chapter 5, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 9. So, we make it our goal to please him. I love that. Whether we're at home in the body or away from it, whether we're here or in glory, we want to please him. Uh, that, that's our motivation. It's not to tick boxes. Our, our daily devotion, it's to please him. It's to glorify him. And, and uh, I, I, I've mentioned uh, a couple of times uh, the last couple, the last few weeks, Steph, Steph Liston spoke um, uh, he was speaking here on um, the other Saturday um, and he referred to that verse in Ephesians 4 where, it, where we all know the verse do not grieve the Holy Spirit um, and, and that's the, because that's what we, we, we grieve the Holy Spirit in, in us when we when our affections and thoughts are following worldly things things that you know um the values and the the ways of the world around us and not the lord we we grieve the holy spirit and steph just made the point very obvious really i've not thought of it before i don't want to grieve the holy spirit actually i want to please the holy spirit i want to please the lord isn't that lovely you know um we, we can just see it as a neg as a sort of a, a a negative warning don't grieve the holy spirit by what you think look at do today but turning it around, I want to please the Holy Spirit today. How do we please the Lord? Well, this is, again, our daily devotions. One key way of pleasing the Lord is to glorify Jesus, to glorify him. We're back to my favourite theme, worship, song, singing. And I, I would, I honestly, I mean, it's it's the... It's the music of heaven. It's the sounds of heaven. Worship is, is you know, I, if you want a touch of heaven in your soul on a daily basis, let there be worship. And, and break the sound barrier. Sing, you know, I've got my playlist on my on my phone, uh, my worship playlist. My first thing I'll do in the morning, come up here, mug of tea, just play, and then I'll join in. I'll sing. Break the sound barrier. I want to please the Lord. He's as I said, I've said earlier in the week, we plead, our voices are pleasing to him. When we, when, when we speak, we've got this wonderful access that I spoke of yesterday. Uh, unveiled faces, we can come to the Lord. As, 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 it's our birthright. Don't let the enemy rob you by saying you're not worthy. You've been made worthy by the blood of the Lamb. So we make it out to please him. So we please him by worship, by glorifying the Lord Jesus. I generally, my devotions, I will generally, I'm going through the Psalms nearly all the time. I'm just, one Psalm a day, that's just, again, just coming, worship going, and I'll be looking, browsing through a Psalm as I'm kind of waking up and <laughs> starting to get my bearings on the day. And then I'll, as well as a Psalm, I'll be doing a, a short passage somewhere else, and you could use uh, daily devotion for that. Um, the Lord to speak to me, um, and then... Out of that flows my prayer and there's things that I regularly want to talk to the Lord about. And having that morning time to pray, um, just to bring things to the Lord. Lord, please, looking for your help here. And I use that, the Lord's Prayer, I don't pray the Lord's Prayer, you can use it as a pattern, but I do use that phrase, your kingdom come. And I'll use that in a sense of praying for people's situations. Lord, in this situation, please, your kingdom come, your beautiful, the kingdom of heaven come in that situation there. Pray for this person, that person, family, and so on. Um, uh, and then just going on through the day, just just bullet prayers. And, and I'm thankfulness. I mentioned thankfulness the other Sunday. I'm really working hard on that at the moment. On a, on a regular basis, Lord, the beautiful view. Thank you for this. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for health. Thank you for friendship. Thank you for that person. Thank you. These things are ways in which we can be pleasing the Lord, our worship, our thanksgiving, our 
coming before him on a daily to the Lord on a daily daily basis, and not grieving the Lord but the way we walk through the day. Well, time has gone. I hope those few little things have helped. Tomorrow it's Advent. We start, I'll have my light out. Um, uh, it'll be on dim to start the month, getting brighter through the month. Advent means coming. Not Advent isn't just meaning at the first coming, but it's also looking to the second coming. It's all about, as I say, the coming of the King. Lord, we commit our day to you, the King. You're our King. You're our King now. One day you'll be King. You'll be seen as King of of all, Lord of all glory, Lord. But you are our King, and we want to live for you today. We want to please you, Lord. Please go with us. I pray wherever we're going, be glorified in and through our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you can join us again for our Advent series starting tomorrow. Meanwhile, have a great day, and um, see you then. Bye now.